see a midge. I think that fish is going to nail. Nope. Okay. Let's see if he'll eat mine. Yep. He did. <laughs> hey guys. No nymphing today. It's going to be streamers and dry flies. I hope. All right. I've got a jig sculptzilla tied on and a and Lance's jig streamer. We're already hung up on the first cast. Well, I guess we're gonna walk out into here. Found my chick stringer back. Found my ten and a half foot three weight with me. Kinda do wanna bring my not real always. Kinda do wanna bring my diamond back back out, but I don't want a nymph today. So here we are with the Shadow X. We could go down and across a little bit too. It's probably a good way to put ice in the guides. Hoping to mostly dry fly fish today. I just brought the. If I was, got here later, I'd just be dry fly rod only, I think. But we're here a little early and probably won't see heads yet. It's 13 degrees. I want to do too much of this down and across type work because it is going to put ice in the guides and it's trying to avoid that. Right, I'm going to step up. I don't want to spend a lot of time here. Those of you that saw my last video, I'm kind of in the same stretch I was last week, just fishing different. Okay, let's wait out here. See, see if we can throw a jig, jig streamer through that little drop. Money to put the lighter bead on. I usually like fishing the heavier one because you get down quicker, but I think we're getting down a little bit too much. I don't know. Don't need that much line out. Yeah, see, we're like hitting bottom in a second or two. Which is great for the deeper runs. All right. I'm in the run where I struggled with some dry fly fish last week. You know, I've only seen one riser, but at least there's one looking up. I'm gonna throw the dry fly, at least where I saw it come up. Uh, I know I struggled last week, so I'm gonna try and figure something out. I mentioned I should have probably thrown a dry dropper or something in here, and I think that would have been a good strategy to have. I just didn't have any of my lightly weighted midges with me, so I'd want to throw a really light dry dropper rig if I did throw one in here, because it's pretty shallow and slick but we might try that out see if that we could pick up a fish subsurface doing that and also practice our small dry dropper fishing but i'm going to just throw the dry for now see if i could get that fish that came up to rise oh yeah see there's a couple risers there so maybe we'll turn on in a sec Throwing a little black corn fed midge, a smaller one. That one had some drag on it. I'm only gonna throw a few in here. Just 
just a couple of times and then they won't come up and eat it. And we might put a little dropper on. Yeah, let's see there's one that came up. It's right in its lane. Those are pretty splashy rises, so those might be uh, just in the mergers. We're already icing up in the guides, too. Alright, I put a little bit beefier corn fed midge on. This is a size 20. And something I can see a little bit better. And I'm dropping, I put attached like a two foot section of six and a half X fluoro tip it. And I'm dropping a little 20, size 20 TF midge on. It's unweighted, so it'll just get below the surface film. It's got a little bit of resin on it. So maybe if they don't eat the dry, they'll eat the little TF midge underneath. If we need to put like a little glass feed thing on, I think this fly will support it as well. Hopefully they'll just eat the midge right and right on the, the surface film now. Eat the dry. <laughs> okay, eating the dry is good too. Got my little four weight, so. Well, yep, little black one. Maybe that would have worked last week. I don't think I've seen that fish rise yet. That kind of came out of nowhere, honestly. Let's see. Let's see if we can manage to not just absolutely wrap up my rig here. I guess we'll go catch a release tool. got a midge stuck on its tongue right now. Oh, come on. I'm sure this is just wrecking my... There we go. Now he's wrapped up in the dropper. No, he's not. Okay, cool. Dry fly fish. Let's go. Little... 12 inch brown. That's cool. Let's see if we can dry out this fly and still use it as a on the dry dropper. Oh, I need to get another one of these. See, so just throw the water out. Look, good as new. Just 
since we are dropping something off of it, use a little bit of desiccant here just to make sure. Okay, hope we've got a foot and fly now. All right, so the risers have gotten a touch more consistent. So I pulled the dropper off, see if we can just dry fly these. The fish has been coming up behind this rock. See if we can get him. It's not quite in the lane. One just came up in front of me right here. One more and then we'll rest that fish a little bit. I don't even know where the fly is right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see it's right there. Lane. That one might be there. Oh yeah, that was awesome, dudes! Oh, that's a nice fish. That was so sweet. Nailed that little black corn fed midge. Uh, putting up a fight on this four weight. Trying to keep him out of there so we don't blow up the entire pod. Not sure I have them in the mouth. I can't tell. It's looking like I might not, unless it's just wrapped. Oh, maybe, maybe. Definitely ate it though, clearly. It's a dry fly and he took. Good fight on this four weight. Yeah, I got him in the fin, I think. I do. A little unfortunate, but you know, he ate it. We just missed him and pinned him in the fin. It's a nice fish though. Really nice colors. I'm gonna have to deslime this fly. Okay. Anyway, it's a solid brown. 15, 
something like that. Fun on a dry fly. It's just chilling. Cool. Man, it's fun to target a specific fish and get it to eat. Right fly, right drift. Feels good. Alright, now that we've got no dropper off of it, this should be a lot easier to maintain through a few fish. Alright, so there's another couple fish that came up in the back here as I was fighting that fish. Let's see if we can get him to come up and eat this corn fed midge. Oh, yeah, let's target that fish. Right in the wheelhouse. Okay, back to the main current. Yep, down at the tail out. It's a little close to us, but still in the drift, I think. Another six inches there would be good. That's dragon. Oh, dude! Dude, that's a good fish too. Wow, this is fun. This is a lot different than last week too. We've, man, it's all about color. They, they just, it's the buffaloes, man. You just need the black ones. Not small fish in here either. Just slow sipped it, that was so cool. Look at how beautiful that fish is. Okay. Let's release him. Nice. There he goes. He's gonna chill at my feet for a little bit. Yeah, he's right there. Can I see him? There you go. Skinny guy, a little sneaky. And it'd be nice if it warmed up a little bit just so the ice boat up slowed down. Okay. Ooh, this one. Couple right in front of me here. Ooh, another one down near this rock. Don't think that's the same fish as before. Let's go back for this close one. There we go. I got him again. Er, I got the same fish that set up there. Oh no. Not the same fish, but same spot where that uh, other fish set up behind that rock. Okay, he's upset. And he's blowing up that pod pretty much. Four weight. Man, another decent fish. Look at that guy. Dry flies, man. Yeah, that's a solid 16 inch fish on a dry. That's sweet.
Man, if that one had some weight on it, that would have been a fight. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, I'm trying to see where the fly is so I can figure out an unhooking strategy without cold hands. I don't I think we're going to have to handle them. <sighs> Just because I can't see where the fly is. Man, that's a solid fish though. Oh, popped out. Perfect. Just as I was wetting my hands though. It's a solid fish. Skinny as well, but... Man, that's fun, guys. Especially after we were here last week and really struggled in this run. Figure, coming back and, you know, taking the time to figure it out. Of course, it could just be the different day. But it feels like we're, do, we're just picking it apart a little bit better. Bent my hook out slightly. Sweet. Man, it's so fun targeting like individual rising fish, <laughs> especially when they eat. Now, these are not small fish in here. Maybe we can recover that one. Right. Little guy. One, 12, 13, something like that. <clears throat> All right, fish rose just in front of me. See if we can get it before moving up. That's about right. Maybe a little more into the main current. Seemed like a pretty good drift. One just rose right here. That fish rising up there, that's going to be a hard one because that is in just slick, calm water. But that's a nice fish. I'm going to make just a couple more through the main current here and then probably take a step. Oh, see, there's that fish again. Fly line floating right over it. a little short, honestly. It's better, I think. It's like right in the wheelhouse. Let's try one more. Okay. 
just gonna cast over it to the far seam. See if there's any other random fish to be had over there. Then I might take a couple steps up. I'm just not going to get a fish to eat in this slick stuff. It's like, they have a lifetime to look at it, make a decision. Okay, I'm gonna make the cast of that one up there. There's like a foot behind it, I think. I'm just gonna let it drift through the slick. Okay. So we can make the long cast over there. It's not bad. I think even the little CDC midge is landing a little hard. I haven't seen that fish come back. Might have put it down. Dropped it like right on its head. Yeah, I haven't seen that fish eat again. Okay. I'm gonna set myself up to target some of these fish in the main current and just kind of, any fish that was really in the slick is not gonna be around, I don't think. Oh, yes. You got the one in the slick, dudes. Awesome. I didn't, that's like a bonus fish. I didn't think I was going to get that fish to eat a fly. Another solid 14 incher. 13. I don't see the fly. How did he just choke it? Okay, dude. Just need to get a game plan here. I think it's. Get the line out of the gills. Okay, got the fly. Cool. Hands are freaking cold. Yep. Oh, dude, you missed it. current again. Feet are getting cold. Oh! I 
Not quite getting that one. I'm gonna get that fish though. We just go get him. I think I got that fish to eat twice, so that one's not probably not coming back. That's gonna get eaten. Yep. Oh no! Oh. Oh, I got a hook in that one. That was a nice fish. There was one behind him though. Called my shot on that cast, by the way. See a major, I think that fish is gonna nail. Nope. Okay. See if he'll eat mine. Yep. He did. <laughs> Again, not small fish. You gotta keep him uh oh. I gotta keep him out of those rocks though. Put the screws on him a little bit. <laughs> Solid fish. Is it like breaking rod tips danger with all that? I said there. Okay, I think we can catch and release tool of this one. Yep. Another solid down. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Okay, one just showed itself to me right down here. So I'm gonna try. No. Kind of lost track of my fish in here because it turned around. I think there's still, oh, okay. Yes, in the slick. Sizing down worked. I don't know how many casts I've made to that fish. I sized down to 26 right there. Yeah, that's a nice one. The one we've been seeing rise in front of us, 15 feet in front of us for the last half hour. There we go. Oh, fish is still in the net. There we go. Okay, maybe we can pick up the other one in the slick. There's a little behind it. Just gonna pull it out. That's better. This one needs to rise again because I kind of lost my bearings where it is. I think it's right there. 
seems about right. Yep. <laughs> Sizing down. Nice. All right, good. Yeah, that's some good old decision making, right? When they're gonna get a little bit better look at it, drop down a size or two. I guess two in this case. I mean, these are not small fish either. Who's that fly? There it is. I mean, you rarely catch really big ones on drives on the middle, but something that size, you know, 16, maybe, maybe 17. That's just good old fun. All right, so I'm walking up through where we caught. Look how skinny and slick this water is in here. Corn-fed midge can fool a wary trout in slick, calm, shallow water. Okay, so I've seen a few fish rise in the slick, not lately. So I'm just gonna go through there quickly. It's gonna also be a tough drift. Oh, yeah, there's one that came out. I think we can get him. Just need a little bit better angle, which means upstream a little, as much as we can get away with. Yeah, eat it. Yep. <laughs> so awesome. Gotta love it. Again, not small fish. Oh, fly came out, perfect. Cool. All right, I've got a few small rising fish. I think I've seen like three or four in this uh, shallow seam, the near seam. Don't quite know where the back one is. So I might make a couple prospecting casts before I walk up. Yep. <laughs> Worth it to make the prospecting cast. Get out in that current. I don't want that. Okay. Forward. Don't have a ton of fish fighting power. There we go. 
head up. Cool. I don't think I saw that fish rise, so. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be quite a few just sitting in this near seam. There we go, a little brown. Ooh. Okay, there's, oh, there's three fish. The one in the left is in back, I believe. That's not a good cast though. That one's a decent one. Not seeing this fly that well. Yep. That was the one on the left. Okay. I think we got him out of there. Oh. Okay. Release this guy. Oh. What I'm saying is I think we got him out of there fast enough that he didn't blow up the other guys. Yep, <laughs> there he is. Ooh, all of them have been big, or not like giants, but not no small like under 12 inch fish today. <laughs> yeah, corn fed midges. It's like automatic. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Rigs, but he's got a drive pole, so. Yeah. We saw a bunch of midges down yesterday down there, but nothing. Really you don't get risers far. below Legacy Cell. It's yeah. very rare, yeah. That's why I come up here to dry fly, because. Yeah. I mean, it's great nymphing water down there. What's up, Trent? Guys, another dry fly brown. <laughs> I think there should still be one more up on the right. I, you guys want to take a shot at it? All right, guys, that's a fun day out here in the middle. Found some dry fly fish. That's all I wanted. Put in some good work on this four weight chowd X. I love it. You know, pretty much all they ate were corn fed midges and pretty typical for beginning of February. Should be some pretty good dry fly fishing over the next month and a half or so. Really, two months. So, I encourage you to get out here and try and catch some dry fly fish. Of course, you can buy the corn fed midges in my shop. You're not going to want to leave home without them. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. We pretty much only fished one run. Got into the second one for a little bit and caught a few out of it, but just mostly picked through that run kind of fished it out efficiently and had a pretty good game plan on maximizing our catches through it. So pretty happy with the execution in there. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like it down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.